wise men say only fools rush in but I can't help Welcome to another episode of Cooking in the Community Kitchen where we cook delicious recipes and have flavorful conversations. I'm your host, Judy Anderson. Today we are going to do a recipe, winter comfort food, apple crisp. Who doesn't love the smell of when you come home and your house is filled with that lovely smell with the cinnamons and the apple. We're gonna get just right started. If you don't mind to uh, peel those apples, Absolutely. I think I'm going to slice them up into this do you need to cut the top and the bottom off, or do we just leave it the way it is? No, nope. if you want to cut it in half, it's great. What would you like me to do with these apples now that they're all chopped oh, up? you know what? Let's like, share them and just chop amazing. them up. Amazing. So cut them into quarters and then quarter them. And then them just and... slice them up. Perfect. That's wonderful. I just sprinkled just a little tiny bit of sugar on the top. Yep. And uh, because I probably have a sweet tooth, so I like things a little <laughs> sweeter. Awesome. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of cinnamon on the top as well as then we're going to put it into our topping, the crumble part. Amazing, and how many apples did we do in total for this big pan here? I think we did either eight or nine. Awesome. So thank you very much, you did just a super job. There used to be a saying about that we would cook for the people we love. I love that. And then take the rest of them out, out to the restaurant. So I think that's <laughs> where, what we're gonna do. We're gonna just share the love cook for them. You can see I'm making a little bit of a mess, That's but part of the fun. it's all good. What I like about this recipe too is it's very simple. Definitely. It is three cups, three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a cup. And even though we're doubling it, it's something simple to remember. And we don't, there's enough complex things in life that we don't need to make cooking complex as well. Definitely, so there's three quarters of a cup of butter, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and then three quarters of a cup of oatmeal. Is that right? We've got actually a cup and a half, yep, cup yeah. and a half of oatmeal. Awesome. And a cup and a half of the brown sugar. And then you know what, I'm going to get you just to add, please if you will, a, a half of a teaspoon of the nutmeg, and then one please of the cinnamon. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. It's super simple and easy. And I also, it's handy because I think too, if I didn't have teaspoons at home, if I could use any kind of cup, you I know, think and you kind could of, too. And kind of and figure you could it just out. Kind of yeah, yeah, and portion it out because all of the portions of the big things that we're putting in, like the butter and the flour, are the same. And also, I feel like it'd be pretty hard to mess up an apple crumble. Absolutely. And you know what? I have been known to get in here with my hands, but uh, because we're doing this on film, I think I will not. I will try to use the pastry blender here and just see what we can do. Awesome. So we're just gonna make some crumbs. I did use gluten-free flour as well as gluten-free oats. Oh, perfect. And, I didn't um, even know you could get gluten-free oats. Oats, you oh, certainly interesting. can. interesting. And I don't think you really give up anything with the flavor of this by eating or by choosing the gluten-free option. And I think then we're being really inclusive. Inclusive, exactly, of our guests. We don't want to make anybody not be able to eat this because it's of a crumble. sensitivity. And every everybody's gonna everybody want some. should want some. I think we've just about got it there. That looks great. I might have to give in and just use my hands just so that it does have that feel. Awesome. Because I want them to be nice and. Yeah, so what nice does kneading and this and mixing it all together do for the recipe? You know what? I think it's just going to make sure that the butter and the sugar, the oats and the flour just all have a nice blend together. And then I think we do want it to look crumbly on the top. Right. We don't want it just to look flat because it's all about the lovely textures. We've used honey crisp apples as well as Granny Smith's Oops. apples in the crisp today too. And I think both of those apples give it a beautiful firm texture, but it's you can use whatever you want. Or if you have a special apple, it's, that's not a problem either. Okay. And so I'm just gonna dump this on the top and I don't think it, it needs to look too pretty or too organized. Totally. I think it just is what it is. Oh, we gotta get the last of that butter in there for sure. That's awesome. And then there we go. Oh my gosh, is that it? Is there anything else we that's need to That's it, do? no. Wow, that's so simple. I can actually make this at you home. You can, absolutely. <laughs> 
That's lovely. All right. So I think we're going to just pop that in the oven. Perfect. And do we preheat it already? It is. The oven is awesome. preheated at 350, and this will take about 35 to 40 minutes. Perfect. I must say it smells pretty good. That's probably the magic of uh, videoing when we put in a red pan into the oven and come back with a clear <laughs> one. But and we, a smaller pan. And I'm a smaller a little, pan. A of... What about a little bit of ice cream? That sounds lovely. Oh, my goodness. And just melted just right. And then my neighbor and friend makes this amazing caramel sauce. So we're going to give Angie a shout out for her caramel sauce. Wonderful. I think that will be just what That'll we need. Be there we go. Amazing. Oh, We've goodness. got nice texture. It smells really good. There isn't anything like being able to serve it while it's warm. Absolutely. And Especially with ice cream and caramel sauce. Exactly.